And our next type of chemical reaction is what we call a decomposition reaction, which is of course the opposite of a combination reaction. What we have here is we have a compound, let's do two elements joined together chemically, and something happens to it, we have a reaction, and they yield the two separate atoms or two separate elements. Hmm, how does that happen? Well, typically, we need to nudge a little bit. We need to do something to it. Here we have the reaction with a little triangle over it, which means we have to add heat to the reaction. Otherwise, this would not normally occur. We find that most decomposition reactions do need some help. Normally, the reaction will go the other way from this to here, but if we heat it up or do something to it, we tend to be able to drive it to the right and decompose or separate the elements that are within the compound here, within the, um, the molecule. So here we have what we call dinitrogen oxide or nitrous oxide, also known as laughing gas, and when we heat that up, we can just separate it into nitrogen gas and oxygen gas. Now again, this equation is not balanced, but this is a simple equation, so I think we can do this quickly. Notice we have two nitrogen atoms here, we have two nitrogen atoms, so the nitrogen is balanced. So whatever goes in here must also go over here, because nitrogen therefore will be balanced. But notice that oxygen is not balanced. We only have one atom of oxygen here and two atoms of oxygen there. So to have the oxygen balance, we have to double up over here. We have to make this twice as big, because two times one gives me two, and there we have two. So now oxygen is balanced. But again, we remember that these have to be the same, because there's two nitrogens here and two nitrogens there, which means we need a two there as well. And now that equation is balanced. So there's a, a nice example of decomposition reaction. Another example of that is the water molecule. Well, normally water doesn't disassociate or dissociate uh, the hydrogen and the oxygen from each other, but if you put an electric current through water, which is known as an, elect an electrolysis, then we can actually cause the hydrogen and the oxygen then to separate, um, and we end up with hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, and that's actually how you can produce uh, from water uh, an element that you can actually burn and use for energy. So that's, that's been thought of in the means of trying to come up with better uh, sources of, of course, energy. But again, this will not happen on its own. Water will only dissociate a very slight amount, about one in 10 million atoms will actually separate the hydrogen and the hydroxide ion, which then potentially could lead to this separation like this. But a better way to do it is just simply to put electrodes in the water, run a current to the water, and cause the water to actually change into gas like that. Again, doesn't work on its own, but there's some, a couple of really good examples of what a decomposition reaction looks like.